So now you're here, you're ready to transform. Either something really pissed you off or you just feel the stagnancy and your soul yearns for something more. Your soul yearns for the next adventure. It is either we grow or we die. We are also dying as we grow and this is all just part of life. So I think transformation, stagnancy, all of this is nothing to be feared. Transformation and change is something that I actually take very seriously. I always prioritize it. If my soul is telling me to go, if my soul is telling me I need to take the next step, I really honor that. You have to be so ruthless. No one and nothing is gonna get in your way. Hi guys, welcome to Ali Inspires. Today I'm gonna be talking about a topic that has been so near and dear to me for the past few years, which is the art of how to transform. I'm gonna talk about why our soul feels the need to transform, how that feeling or call to transformation might manifest, how we can start taking the next steps to honor that transformation, and what kind of changes and blessings it can bring to our life. So I know there's something in you that you want to transform. Maybe you're entering a new relationship or you're coming out of an old relationship. Maybe you want to move cities, change friend groups, change your environment. Maybe it's more nuanced and not so clear cut. It could be anything small or big. As you're watching this video, I want you to think about what it is that brought you to this video. One day you wake up or come to your day with a sense of peace and fear of like, okay, I know that I'm ready for this next chapter. Whatever that may look like, whatever I need to do, maybe you don't know yet, but I think there's kind of like an internal click that makes you realize, yeah, I've kind of outgrown whatever this is that I'm in now. And I don't know what the next thing is, but I think I'm, I'm at that horizon point of of what's ahead. If you want to truly transform and get to the next level of whatever your soul is calling you to do, you have to commit to it. Now, I think this is such an important part of life. Um, it's a skill, there's an element of magic and intuition to it, and it's something that's so important to me that I actually took a couple years off of social media and the old kind of like life that I was living just so I could fully dive into and be present for my own transformation, which I'll talk about a little more um, later in this video. So yeah, look out too for that moment where you kind of ask yourself or stumble into an event that asks you, am I in or am I out? And <laughs> my advice is to be full on in. Um, take the leap of faith, sign the contract with yourself, and then you're ready to really begin and lean into the journey. And that's where all the fun and like crazy shit kind of happens. So yeah, so just also look out for that moment of decision. For me and my experience with transformations, there has been that buy-in moment. Am I gonna play this game of poker or not? Am I gonna sign this contract or not? If I'm in, I know my life is gonna change in this way or that way or that way, and I'm in. When the time comes, don't be scared, be a yeah. It's either a yes or it's a no. So you wanna transform. I think it's so important to take a look at where you are now, and that can be really hard when you're just at the beginning of it because the whole problem is you don't wanna be where you are now, so why would you sit down and look at it and get really honest with yourself? Although we don't have to hang on to our past or be stuck in our present, it is really important to acknowledge where we're coming from. That just helps build greater self-awareness. It teaches us to be reflective without shame and without undue pressure. Be honest without being mean. Be honest and be kind. After you've evaluated where you are and perhaps where you wanna go, you don't really need to know the details yet at this point. The next step is to be relentless. Once you've made the decision, once you've answered the call, signed the contract, whatever, you're gonna be so ruthless that no one, no physical manifestation or problem is going to get into the way of your soul reaching its next level. It doesn't even have to be that deep. It can be like whatever old identity that you wanna let go and transform out of, nothing is going to get into the way of that, okay? Like there's no challenge, no mountain too high that's gonna stop you. That's how ruthless you have to be. Be relentless of letting go of the people, the environments, the beliefs, the stories you tell yourself that don't serve you anymore. 
The purpose that they've always served is comfort and a sense of identity, but you don't need any of those things to build the new identity and to step into your full transformation. To transform yourself, it's not just about adding more and adding the things that you want. It's also about releasing the things that no longer serve you. And we are humans. We have our physical container of a body. We have the constraints of time and gravity and energy. So we cannot hold on to every single thing that has come our way and defined us, whether for better or worse. And I really think that you can't make room in your life for truly new things, real experiences that are new to you, real mindsets that are new to you until you've really let go of the old. And we need to flow through life. And that means to know how to graciously let go of things when the time comes. And the time period of transformation is usually the time that you need to let go of the old and make room in your life for the new. I am a very sensitive person that been sensitive as a kid and I think goodbyes or letting go of things has been one of the hardest growings I've had to do from my childhood like adolescent life to the person I am now. Releasing my attachment to things, especially things I love, that's been so hard for me to release my attachment to, but I also struggle on the opposite energetic extreme. So like both emotional extremes, either things I really love or things that really I don't love at all. I kind of hate. Both of those have been really hard for me to let go of. But I realized to truly transform and to allow my soul to float up to the next level that it really desires to be, I needed to master the art of letting go with peace. And that's why I say this step is like the hardest because you have to be ruthless with goodbyes. Me now looking back on the me five or 10 years ago, it truly brings tears to my eyes. Like I'm grateful beyond belief. The younger versions of myself could have never imagined so much peace and alignment and gratitude within myself. Life and media and society and everyone in my life changed. It was the skill of graciously leaning into the urge to transform and not being scared of that intangible call for change that really brought me here. And there are so many exciting things that are gonna come your way and life is gonna change in ways that you could not even imagine. No matter what people have to say or no matter what problems your mind perceives to come in your way, who cares? Because the moment that you say yes to your transformation, that's the moment of you understanding that your inner voice and your inner truth is more real and more important to you than anything that you see in the outside world. You are trusting that you will grow as you ascend. When you commit to transformation, it's no longer like the world outside you and the people outside you already have nothing to do with it. People always say, oh, you need people to succeed. Your network is your network net worth, blah, blah, blah. Like all that is true, but it's not like a blanket statement true. It's like true in specific scenarios. But when it comes to transformation and the inner work, um, it's between you and the universe, baby. <laughs> like it's between you and your higher self. No one that wants to stop you can actually stop you. I mean, like obviously there's like right ways and maybe not so effective ways to go about it, which like I could talk about in a different video or something. It's kind of like case by case, but basically when you have really made the commitment to transform, you should have your blinders on, okay? Because nothing outside of your lane matters to you anymore or is really gonna fundamentally impact your transformation. At that point, it's the journey and it's the growth and the feedback between you and your higher self. That's actually really beautiful and encouraging and inspiring to me as a woman, as a minority. I think it's empowering to realize that circumstances cannot stop a dedicated heart from reaching their dream or their higher vision for yourself. It's so empowering to realize that in a true spiritual sense, nothing on the outside can prevent your growth, your most meaningful version of growth. That's actually your own journey and you're the only person holding yourself back from that. No matter what 
other things might program you to think. So it's like easier in a lot of ways. It, it gets easier, but only if you take the hard step of being relentless with releasing, being relentless to honor that bond, that BFF tie with yourself, because it's your inner conviction and listening to your inner voice that's gonna get you to that next step. That's the second part of it, is to be relentless in letting go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And once you do that, the way you know that you're successfully doing this is when you just feel lighter, when you define yourself less by things, by experiences, by the people in your life, and you just feel more in balance with the world around you and the events that are unfolding around you and you might see that um, the universe or God or whatever you believe in are giving you new opportunities and giving you new choices to make and you hopefully if you're doing this right will experience more energy as well you'll feel more energetic and less burdened so yeah that's kind of like the flow of transformation I love to have these visions or ideas in mind of what I want and then kind of go through a planning phase which is both practical as well as intuitive of like how I would go about bringing these transformations to mind. Visualizations, um, habits, like auditing my habits, putting in new habits into place, connecting and finding like new people. There's a lot of tools that maybe I can elaborate on in another video, but I think like just honestly taking the call to transformation is more than half the journey. You might have experienced this where you feel the need to change something or do something and you just sit on that feeling for weeks, months, and then years pass and that thing is like still there and it's still bothering you it's just become really small but it's kind of like this constant tiny pebble in your shoe right so if you've already like kind of made the commitment to transform congratulations um i'm glad you found this video and i hope it was helpful because i really think it's already a huge milestone and i truly think from a spiritual like perspective once you've taken the call to transform and to change and to release the rest will come to you if you're really looking. You'll be able to see and find the signs along your path. The really interesting thing is that when you get to the end of one cycle of transformation, you realize it's so true that everything in life, like the seasons, is in cycles and there is no ever like a distinct start or stop to life. We are always growing and shedding and changing. There's always new life, there's death. Um, the end is never the end and new journeys always follow. So I think like transformation is a skill and as you get better and better and more understanding of your own process, it's really entertaining and like kind of humbling to sit in the pause at the end of one cycle, realize how much you've changed, how many new lessons and perspectives you've integrated along the way and then realize like there is always more to come. The best is yet to come. Life is ever unfolding. And that's why I just think like transformation is such a key skill to have and to know how to answer to and follow. I think we all go through so many iterations of these kind of transformations throughout our entire lives. I hope this video was um, interesting and inspiring and helpful for you. Please leave any comments if you have tips or you agreed or resonated with any parts of this video. Um, I've taken a really long hiatus from YouTube, but just kind of felt the, the want to come on and talk a little bit about this. Subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more and have fun, have fun on your transformation. Lean into it. Lean into it and the universe will bless you more beautifully than you could ever imagine. So.